a day out in Birmingham for Malala Yousafzai. This 16-year-old's life was transformed by the attack that nearly killed her. Hello. One year on, I've been spending time with her and her family. Thank you. Hello, Malala. You. How are you? So what has been the hardest thing about coming to Birmingham? Uh, nothing. The weather, of course. Yeah, the weather, yeah. I do. <laughs> the weather and seeing Malala. She had, like, the whole, whole face was, like, big, big. Mm. And here it was, like, nice, good. She's much better yeah. now than okay. she was. But your life changed in that, in that one moment. You know, in actually, seconds. in seconds, everyone's life changed yes. in that moment. Malala was only 11 when she first spoke out for girls' rights to go to school. I will get my education if it is in home, school or any place. What really? The world she knew was about to disappear. Her home valley of Swat in northern Pakistan came under the brutal rule of the Taliban. I was afraid of my future. I don't want to see any girl to be ignorant and I don't want to see any girl to be illiterate in future. And I do not want my future uh, to be just sitting in a room and uh, to be uh, imprisoned in four walls and just cooking and giving birth to children. And I didn't want to see my life in that way. The Taliban's control of the area was short-lived, but still Malala's determination would come at a cost. On the 9th of October last year, she and her friends were traveling home on their school bus when it was stopped. Malala was shot in the head, deliberately targeted by the extremists. Today, Malala's become the face of the world's 57 million out-of-school children. She has an influence few other 16-year-olds can imagine, and yet she told me she still sees herself as an ordinary teenager. Do you believe in a dialogue with the Taliban, whether in your own country or in Afghanistan? Is that the way forward, do you think? I don't want to go deep in those issues of terrorism because it's the job of the government to do it. It's the job of the Afghanistan government as well to do this. And I also request the Taliban that they must stop it and they must do what they want through dialogue. They must tell us what they want and uh, killing people and slaughtering people and flogging people and blasting school is totally against Islam. They are misusing the name of Islam. Islam tells us to be peaceful. Islam tells us, uh, tells us about brotherhood. This is not the true Islam which the terrorists are showing us.